Well, data from sensors needed to find critical minerals for the energy transition can now be transmitted by satellite. That means that more data can be collected, transmitted in a faster time, leading to more minerals being discovered. Joining us live now with more is Flavia Tata Nadini from Fleet Space Technologies. Really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Now, in simple terms, we can all understand. Just tell us a bit more about how this works and what sort of minerals we're actually talking about here. Thanks, Ashley. I will try to explain it to you, not in rocket science word. Very, very easy. <laughs> so the world is going through a big change. We need to look and try to find a lot of critical minerals that are the basic for the most important things, like electric cars, solar panels. You're talking about lithium, copper, cobalt, nickel, that are hidden, you know, in the in the subsurface of the earth. These minerals are critical to reach net zero, really important. In our fleet, uh, we we kind of very passionate about this reaching net zero and helping Earth. And we wanted to find a, a technology that could allow us to find critical minerals without per se digging, without per se extracting, without knowing and increasing the efficiency. So we use satellites. Um, they're called small satellites. So they are very small. They are more or less like a, a, a pizza box. They go into space, um, they gather data from remote areas and from devices that we put on the ground. These devices listen to the earth noise and find minerals, even many, many kilometers deep. Um, and now fleet from beautiful Adelaide is working all around the world in five continents to kind of accelerate this look for critical minerals because this is what humankind now needs and what earth really needs to to get to a better place for our planet. So we, um, yeah, we are the front run of this technology and it's quite, quite proud to, you know, to call Australia home.